about writing. I'm watching Winter is Coming. 62% of U.S. business owners fear the worst is still to come by Epic Economist. This bit, the new stimulus package where they're going back and forth on a lower amount. Congress spends half the year or more on permanent fucking vacation. If they want money, they should get a real fucking job and stop going on vacation. As for everyone else, <laughs> it's been what? Six months or so since the last uh, bit of a thousand two hundred dollar checks for everyone. That's not enough. Even then, one thousand two hundred wasn't enough. And this this been a shit show. It's all a shit show. All their bickering back and forth is just. A shit show. If they're gonna do stimulus checks in such a low fucking bullshit amount, anything below a thousand dollars, or even at a thousand dollars, thousand and below, that shit should be monthly for the next three to five years at minimum. That way, they wouldn't need to put so much assistance money towards businesses and uh, eviction moratoriums and, and a number of other things. They could, they could ease off those a bit. Because in the end, it's the commonplace person without whom these businesses... And Congress have no one to support them. Think about it. If the common person's out of a job, can't pay taxes, then they've got no slaves to get income from, now do they? So if they want to perpetuate their little system, $1,000 a month for the next three to five years at minimum, at the bare bones, scraping the bottom of the barrel off of itself and drilling a hole through it, basically. That's the absolute minimum that needs to be done. And instead of taking more taxes to support this cycle, this big circle of money, they need to start decreasing the dependency on currency and money that they've created. Because the entire human species needs to be weaned off of this psychosomatic drug. And as far as people who have millions and billions, hey, why don't you guys go throw some money at some people who need it? Why don't you pay some people's uh, mortgages and rents off so that they won't have to worry about that excessive taxation simply because they exist? And same for the video game industry. I look at this situation analogous to what happened within the last few years in the video game industry. The industry started taking more from people and giving less content that is worth playing. And then the government steps in and implements a tax on all purchases on the, the digital stores and everything. They looked at him and said, you got too greedy. We're taxing every fucking transaction now. Fuck you. You think with all these taxes, they'd have enough money to help everyone. 
but they're they're engaging in all this disinformation, these scams, these um, shit shows. Oh, what is it they call them? Scandals. Like when Trump got into office. Oh, he was colluding with the Russians. You know how much fucking money they paid fucking news corporations to say that shit? Stop spending all that money bad-mouthing and trolling and being a little bitch to everyone around you. Give it to the people who need it. The people who, without which... You don't have a taxation income to support your lavish, luxurious, exorbitant lifestyles. Or did everyone else forget that uh, a few years ago they had a senator and they were bitching about him having a fucking uh, 80-something dollar breakfast when most Americans are having, like, fucking bowls of cereal? Anyone remember that? Because now, now their greed, their corruption is, is plainly evident. So this is an opportunity to just walk away from your corruption. Just walk away from the bullshit and start weaning humanity off of this psychosomatic drug of money. <clears throat> it's an opportunity. As much as it is a fucking catastrophe that you helped create. It's both. It's not either or. It's not left or right. That's an ultimatum. That's not a choice. The situation is both. <clears throat> so what's it going to be, everyone? What's it going to be, bureaucrats, politicians? What's it going to be? Gonna continue with your corruption? What's it gonna be? I'll wait and see, and then most likely I'll be laughing at the stupidity of it all. Oh, before I go, if any of you agree with this, let me know. Comments, likes, or whatever, okay? Also, for, for um, as much as I don't like doing it, I'm going to have to. There's links for PayPal, Patreon. Throw some of that fallacy credit my way so I can go and do dumb shit. Get drunk and do stupid things in games. That's what I really want to do. Till next time. <laughs>